Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the B&B Bricks channel. Today, I wanted to do a special video, so we're going to be looking at some of the LEGO idea sets that were just um, recently in the third 2023 January LEGO sets review um, been passed. So today we're going to look at some of these sets, and I'll let you guys know um, just my thoughts on them really fast. This is going to be kind of, eh, I'm not, this isn't going to be too, too long, so just don't worry about that. Um, before we get into it, make sure to like and subscribe, um, and yeah, and I'm just, I'm going to talk about how likely I think they are to be made um, and stuff like that. So yeah, uh, let's get into it. So a lot of good ones this time. So first one up is the Popular Heritage Museum, um, and this is like a modular set. So I'm not like a huge Lego ideas connoisseur. Um, I have the Viking set, which I love, amazing. I, I really love medieval sets, if you guys haven't already figured that out. But um, so this one isn't too interesting to me, but it looks pretty neat. Um, and it, yeah, I, I mean, it's cool, it's cool. Um, I don't see it being made, quite frankly, um, because, I mean, this seems like an idea that they might take and then add to the modular city line, but it just doesn't seem like something that they would uh, make as an idea set, quite frankly. Um, okay, next up we have the Great Temple of Abu Simbel with Secret Treasure. So, it's like an Egyptian temple. Um, I don't know, there's not much else to say there. It's pretty cool, pretty, pretty sandy. Um, I feel like if they made this, they would have to scale it down. So this is, just looking at this, what we can see here, it's not huge, but it's too big for, like I wouldn't buy it at that size. It would have to be like $200, and that's not something, I'm, I'm not willing to pay $200 for this, even with those two good minifigures that it looks like it has. But it's just, that's not something that I would be super interested in. I really don't see them making it. And if they made it, they would make it as like a little, like if you guys saw these Star Wars um diorama little thing with um, Ray and Finn for Christmas. I feel like it would be that size, quite frankly, or like a little bit bigger, but it wouldn't be huge. Next up, we have the Rolls Royce Phantom 1, Phantom of Love. This is a cool car. It's pretty iconic. You guys have probably seen some cars that look like this around. It's, it's, it's a look. And I do think that it is time for Lego to make a car like this. However, I do not see it being made. And well, okay, let me rephrase that. It's more likely to be made than the last two we looked at, I think. Um, however, it is. I still think that there are more sets on this list. I glanced at it before just to make sure I knew what was happening that seemed way more likely to be made than this. It's cool, and we did see another set similar to this with the Orient Express um, be made. Or Murdy, uh, what's it called? I can't remember. Maybe it's the Orient Express. I can't remember exactly what the name of that new train is called. Um, but... Yeah, I just, it, it doesn't seem like something that as many people would be interested in as, like, would it would be worth making for, but it's still pretty cool. Okay, next up we have the Moon Palace. This is pretty cool. Now, the only thing that I have to say about it is that it looks like it would be tricky to work with all that gravity with the giant moon, so it would definitely have to be modified. However, like, that is a really cool design. I can't tell based on this, like, how deep it is. You can kind of see, so it can fit a minifigure on there, so this one has to be pretty big. Yeah, it's it would definitely have to be shrunken. However, I do really like like the palette of it. I like the tree design. That's the same tree design that they have in Rivendell, it looks like. And I like the cherry blossom tree. That's pretty cool. And the building looks great. Like It looks kind of like end, the end cities from uh, Minecraft. But I like that color scheme with the white, the blue, and the gold. Pretty cool. Um, this one I would really like to see made. This is one that I would probably... Well, I might not pick it up, but... I could definitely see, like, some people I know who are into Legos picking it up, or even people that aren't really into Legos that just like cute things like this. And so, yeah, pretty cool. I could, I could see that one be made. It's a kind of Lego. Um, it has that kind of feeling. Next up, the NASA's SLS Block 1 and 1B Rockets Artemis Missions. Yeah, honestly, I think that this will be made. This seems like a set that they could add to their line, you know, with the Boeing and with their other um, space things. We haven't had any new space things that I know of in a while, so this would definitely fill that slot and be neat to see. Uh, this is very cool, and I like the colors on it as well, so it's it's neat. I definitely know people who would pick this up. It seems pretty likely to be made. Not for me, though. Um, Lego Anatomy. <sighs> this one's kind of a mixed bag because I could see them making this because it's like Lego, and, and look at it. It's very Lego-y, and they like making their big figures. However... It's kind of, like, gross to look at. Like, I feel like this would fit a niche audience. I don't really like looking at Legos. I don't really like looking at this, quite frankly. I, it, it, like, it's a cool idea, in theory, but I just don't... Like, this isn't something I would buy. So, just not not for me. Not for me. Coraline, the Pink Palace. Um, yep, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say no on that one. Um, it is pink. It is a palace. 
kind of. It's mostly a house. I just, this is the kind of thing. Coraline, I know that it's pretty mainstream and all, and, and like that's um, director of, ooh, I don't know, Ed Wood, the movie. Uh, I, he directs a bunch of other really famous stuff that I just can't put my finger on. Uh, um, uh, Halloween, Christmas uh, with Jack Skellington, Nightmare Before Christmas. That's what it is. Um, I, this is just, Coraline is a little bit too niche, I feel like, to be made like Lego sets of. I, I just, I don't think as many people would pick that up as they think. Uh, it's also kind of an ugly house. Like, like, it's a cool design for a house, but the, the color scheme isn't good. The snow, yeah. Uh, that could be fixed, of course, but, you know. Um, the Twin Towers and Vista International Hotel. So, I'm going to go ahead and say that I hope that um, this is not made as, as cool as I think it could be. To, and, and they could have, like, a little memorial brick that says something. That, that could be pretty cool. This is definitely something that I would, like, if it were cheap enough, I would want to pick this up. If this is a little, like... I don't know, thirty dollars set, and it just like you could put it on your desk and have it in the corner. I would probably pick this up because it's cool. Like it, it looks neat. However, it looks like yeah, this doesn't look big. This doesn't look that big. That could be cool. I I, def- I do think that this could be cool. I just would see people using this more for evil than for good, um, quite frankly. So I I don't know. I don't know. You could fly your yeah. I'm gonna stop talking. Um, so next we've got the Good Ogles Garden. So, yeah, I think this will be made as part of We've seen this, um, the plant line kind of blowing up recently. Like, I, I even myself have some of the flowers. I think they're really cool. Um, so this, 100% going to be modified. This is kind of, like, weird to look at. This is also kind of weird to look at because, it's like, it's so blocky with all of it. The big pieces, it's kind of hard to, you know, same thing, problem with this one. This one's good. I like this one. Although the pots need some work. And then this one also good, but the pot needs a lot of work. Um... So this one, I 100%, this, like, this is, I, I, I can almost guarantee will be made into some kind of set in some capacity, but it will be smaller, um, and it will be better, I think. Like, this is a good, like, that's a really good mock, but I feel like it's not, like, this is the certain thing that comes with LEGO's official sets that you just can't get in mocks usually, um, and this definitely needs that. Um, but I do think that LEGO will make this set for sure, and I, I actually might pick it up. I don't think I'll re- do a review of it, but yeah. Okay, next up, Happier Than Ever. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing this is a reference to something that I do not understand. I'm not 100% sure what it would be to, but it's neat. I like the little television set idea. I feel like that could be a cool, like, series for them to do. Like, I know they've been doing, like, the whole, the, like, the, with the plans, like, the floor plans for, like, The Office and the other comedy shows. But I do think that if you built, like, a little TV like this, like, this is a, with the little knobs and everything, that's really cool. And they could do shows that are kind of, like, a little bit older, but not too old, like the Gilmore Girls and stuff, which I, I know people would buy, not me personally, but it seems interesting. Um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty neat. Uh, that one I could see being made into a set. This one, City Burger. Okay, same problem as with the other one, where with the modular thing, I just don't think that Lego is going to be interested in making it. However, this one I think is a lot more likely than that first one to be made. Um, just because it's got it's got more color, it's got more detail on it, It's there's more stuff to look at. With the train underneath, that's something I don't think we've seen in Lego um, in Lego Modular City at all so far. So that's that's pretty neat. Next time, uh, next up, we have the desktop rock, rock and roll. Um, it's cool. It's cool. I feel like in order for this to be a set that they would make, they would need to have something inside of it. I don't know if you guys have seen the Phineas and Ferb episode with the record player thing, the jukebox but with like a record inside that spins and then like there would have to be minifigures that you can place on it in a, in a band position. I feel like that would be really cool and that would be something that would be like a neat little collectible and it's got something inside of it that you wouldn't notice from the outside or whatever. That seems like something that Lego would make. However, without that, I think that it it just needs um, a, a little bit more. It, it's And obviously this is like a draft of it, you know, whatever. This isn't the official product. Um, but it's still like it's a really cool idea that I think I would like to see made. If it had something like that inside of it, I would probably buy it. Um, but we'll have to see. Oh, speaking of Phineas and Ferb, I did not see this one before. Lego Phineas and Ferb. Yeah, please, please, Lego. This would be amazing. This would be so perfect. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I didn't even think of how, how cool this could be. Yeah, Phineas and Ferb Lego would be awesome. It is it's kind of long overdue. Phineas and Ferb is like the perfect kid's show. And then if you had the perfect kid's show mixed with the perfect kid's toy. I mean, chef's kiss, right? Like, mwah, perfect. Um, looks like they've got Buford Baljeet and his portal to Mars. Um, the flying car from that episode where Candace has the bad dream and about Phineas and Ferb making the car and then they go to like a prison, basically, um, re- reform camp or something like that. 
Yeah, Isabella, Buford, Perry the Platypus. A little bit oversized. I feel like they could use... They could make like a custom piece like that. I feel like it would be like a Minecraft custom piece, like the Axolotl. Yeah, anyways. Um, Candace. <laughs> I think it would be really funny if they gave Candace the, um, the tall legs like they have for the avatars. That, that could be funny. Um, Doofin, Schmertz, and Balloony with the Anator. Perfect. Oh, my gosh. And then Phineas and Ferb, of course, with their jetpacks. Very cool. Sorry, if you can't tell, I love Phineas and Ferb. This is a set that I would 100% like to see. I think that it's very cool. Um, the tree in the backyard, you can kind of see there, although I don't think that it would have much of a backyard. And then the house. So I hope they would have some stuff in the house, some Easter eggs, maybe like the, the fun house, um, and like, I don't know, other stuff, of course. Okay, but next up, we have the JWST uh, satellite. I'm not 100% sure what this is. I do not see this being made. I think that... It would, okay, so if, I think that this would be made if there was not already the other ship and ideas. I feel like that ship, the rocket ship that we looked at before, um, I, I, I'm not, I won't go back, but it was, um, it was orange. It was, it was pretty cool. I feel like that ship is a lot more likely to be made than this, especially since this looks like bigger and weirder. Like, the thing with the satellite is you would have to either use a lot of reflect, reflective pieces um, or have just a lot of flat surfaces that are bland to look at. And I just, it's not as appealing to me as that ship, which has that sleek look with all the colors on it. Very neat. Um, next up, Harry Styles Tour, Love on Tour 2023. Okay, I guess for Harry Styles fans, yeah. Uh, I do think we could see a variation of this, considering we saw the BTS Dynamite last year. But I, I'd say it's less likely, because you have to think, BTS is like the number one K-pop band in the world. And then Harry Styles is a huge musician. Musician, I know a lot of people that like love him, but like I know a lot more people. Like, like if you like K-pop, you like BTS. If you like pop music, you don't necessarily like Harry Styles. It's kind of, you know, they're not tied together in that same way. So I really don't feel like it would um, work. Also, Love on Tour is not nearly as iconic as the Dynamite video, and I, I could be wrong about that. I guess, but. I mean, you could, uh, okay, I could see an adaptation of this where they just build a, like, band performance stage that would come with various musicians. That could be cool. But I don't think we should have one specifically for Harry Styles. I just, it doesn't seem like something they would do um, or something that's appealing to me. Lego Microscope, yeah, 100%. That can be an icon set. I can 100% see that being made. Um, do I think it will be made, even though it could be made? Yeah, I think that this will be made. Um, I think that this is a set that they would make. I... This is something I know people who would buy. I might even buy, because it would just be a neat little thing to have, even though I'm not a huge science guy. Um, but it's pretty cool. And if they can like get the feature where it zooms in and stuff, and you can swap the little, like, the those things. I don't know exactly what they're called, the lenses. Um, the way you swap on an actual one, where it's like you, fl you spin them. That could be cool, but yeah. So next up, the Sequoia Tree Trail. Whoa, I have not seen this one before either. That's pretty cool. I do not see this being made, unfortunately. I think it's too too niche. You have to because you have to like have the space to display it, um, which is it looks very wide. It's also very tall with the sequoia tree, and then you have to also like really want a giant tree. And now, as much uh, I am an Elden Ring fan, as much as I would love a giant tree, I do not think that we will be getting it. Um, unfortunately. Although this does look really nice. That house looks awesome. It's so cute and small. Very neat. And mushrooms, of course. Always. We love some mushrooms. Um, now, I did actually have an idea, really quick, before we move on. I think that Lego could make, like, like, a, like the flower sets, like the, um, or what are they, the um, succulents. They could do one of those with mushrooms, I feel like, would be really good. But next up, Tesla Center. Um, no. No, I, I don't think so. I, I don't have too much to say about this, quite frankly. But, yeah, generally, just no. No. No, no. Kind of a cool idea, but, but I just don't think Wiggle would make it. Um, working canal lock. So uh, this is really neat. A lot of detail on there. It's like a dam that you can move up and down, I think. That's pretty cool. You guys, you got to admit that's pretty cool. And all the little details on it are so neat. This seems like something that would be really neat to have. I would want to buy this. Um, would Lego make it? Maybe. This is a set that I think they could change into a modular. That would be really cool, quite frankly. But, yeah, I, I hope they would make this. I'm not 100% sold on the idea that, like, I don't think Lego would be 100% sold on the idea. I'm 100% sold on the idea. I think it looks great. Um, 
next, I'm going to try to speed these things up a little bit so you guys can save some more time. But Christmas Theater. Um, this is a similar idea to the TV one from before, I think. Except you can, yeah, so this is this would be cool. And you can swap out the scenes on the inside. So that's kind of, that's an idea that could work for the TV. This is a cool idea. Um, I could see it as like a seasonal bonus. Like, you know when you spend like $400, $400 or more or whatever and you get like a small little thing? I could see them making this much smaller and then like having a variation of it as one of those bonus things or as just like a Christmas like special like thing that they would sell. Um, but I do not see this being made as like a whole set. Wreck-It Ralph 10th anniversary. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say no. I think that Wreck-It Ralph was kind of a, it's kind of been left in the past, quite honestly. It's like, it's a, it's a great movie and everything. Oh, sorry guys. It's great and everything, but like, I, I love Wreck-It Ralph. I love the first movie. The second movie, not so much. Um, but I think that at, especially since the second movie came out, people have just kind of moved on and I really don't feel the need for a Wreck-It Ralph. Unless it was a big fig, then I would probably be okay with it. And also this is just kind of like a building, like... There's not that much. It would have to be playable for it to be cool. Um, next up we have Ordinary Maniac by Stray Kids. This is another music video thing. I'm just going to go ahead and say no. I think that we already kind of did that last year with BTS. I don't see them doing it again for a while. Okay. Rainforest Frogs. Mm, this is one I could see them doing a variation of. Like maybe they would take like the, the leaves and then like just this section with like the blue frog and the red frog and make that a set and it would be like fifty dollars or something forty dollars but i do not see them making um like a this whole thing out of it okay next up steve Irwin and the majestic crocodile that is awesome that is so funny Ooh, that could be cool I could definitely see Lego making this, especially considering we've seen stuff with like the fossilized dinosaurs from before that are in this kind of scale. However, um, I don't know. Ooh, that's a tricky one. I don't think I would buy this, but I could see like my brother buying this um, or like other people I know in general as well. However, um, I, I don't know if like there are enough people to buy it that Lego would make. Okay, whatever. We'll move on. Okay, and this is my this next one is my favorite. <laughs> this is one I saw before, and I like, I made a face like it was. This is so cool. Okay, so Camelot, the Knights of the Round Table, um, by Lincoln Six Bricks. Please, Lego, please, we need this. This is exactly what I need in my life. I need Camelot. Um, I I love the Arthurian myths um, of like ancient Great Britain, um, and like this set is just such a cool idea. And you've got the Round Table in the top right corner. You've got a little entry hall with, I don't know, Merlin, I think. Um, some of the other knights. I don't, I don't know how to... I can't identify them. Sorry, guys. Um, bedroom. I feel like that could be changed for like a dungeon or something, a cellar. And a little outhouse room um, with the tree. Everything is out there. Everything is so cool. It's so cool. Um, I, don't, I don't even know what that is. And then a little... An extra area. I don't know what this is. Oh! I guess that's a reference to some TV show I don't get. But um, I, I... Guys, I love this lore so much. I have a massive book of it. Um, almost as much as I love Dark Souls and almost as much as I love getting new subscribers to watch my channel. Sorry guys, I know it's been 20 minutes, but just bear with me. We're almost there. Okay, next up the classic tractor. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say no. I, I think it's too niche. Like it's a cool Technic build and this build specifically is really impressive for a mock, but um, I'm going to go ahead and say no. Next up, Forest Space. This is my second most um, anticipated set. Hopefully this comes out. Um, I really love the medieval style, if you can't tell, with like all the wood and the... Uh, it's just so good. Um, yeah, I think that we should 100% get this, especially considering we got the Lion Knight's Castle last year, and we really haven't seen any new medieval sets since then. We've seen bonuses, like with Magisto's Workshop and the other Forest Hideaway. But like this is one that they could make um, that would kind of tie into that. I don't think it would be on a base plate. I think that it would be... Well, actually, it might. I don't know. We would find out, I guess. But um, this is one that I 100% see them making. Like, this is one I think they would make. This is one that I would buy. Please, Lego, make this set. Okay. Um, moving on. This and Camelot. Those are the two that I want um, the most of anything. Okay, next up. Vintage Service Station. Um, I'm going to say no. I, I, I just, I don't think, I think it's too niche. Again, it's like the old stuff is cool, but like you have to keep in mind that the majority of Lego fans are people that are like, like millennials. Um or Gen Z, or younger, 
Um, were there parents that are like buying it for their kids? Like, like if you're a parent, it's a very small minority of parents that are like still into Lego um, at that point in their lives. Um, at least as far as I can tell. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, next up, Sea Turtle. Um, I would say yes if the crocodile is made. No if the crocodile is not made. Because I feel like you would have to have both. Um, however, I do think that the sea turtle is like more likely. Like, There's a slight chance that maybe they make the sea turtle and not the crocodile. Because Steve Irwin and the crocodile, that's kind of a meme. Like, you can't, you can't say that that's 100% serious. Like, there's, there's no way. Um, no Man's Sky. I love No Man's Sky. Um, I do think that this is actually, like, possible. Because we had that Horizon Forbidden West, um, or, Forbid- or uh, Zero Dawn set, I don't remember, with the um, Tall Neck last year, which I have, or two years ago, maybe. I have that set. Very awesome. I made a video about, like, I bought it in Texas. It's very weird. Um, but it's pretty cool. This is a good ship build. Um, it's kind of iconic. It's like the like the OG No Man's Sky ship. Um, this minifigure is pretty cool. Like I, I like all the stuff on it. It would be a cool astronaut figure for people who like that. Um, one of the enemy things that I forgot, the sentries. Ooh, using the chi pieces from Chima. I like that. Um, and I like this build as well with the cherry blossom-ish looking tree. Obviously, it's not actually that because it's from space, but... Yeah, very cool. Um, I, I, I could see this one being made, especially because it kind of falls in line with like the little terrain thing um, and then like the actual set with like the, the build. Um, it it kind of falls in line with the tall neck set. Um, one thing that I do think LEGO would do to modify this is they would make the terrain slightly bigger and they would build like a stand um, for the ship in it because I feel like that way it would like really fit with the um, Horizon Forbidden West set more. But very cool. I love No Man's Sky. Um, I love this set. Well, not love. I, I, I like this set quite a bit. Very cool. Yeah, I, I think this one could be made. And I would probably buy it if it, was, if it were made. Pirate Treasure Chest. Hmm. With the way this one is designed. Oh, I see. The sides fold in. Okay, that's interesting. I'm still going to go ahead and say no. I think that this is a neat idea, but I like this is just another thing. I think it's a little bit too niche. Because people who like pirates... I feel like the majority of the time are going to want to play with their pirate figures and like, yeah, that's what I, that's what I think. Um, one modification I would make to this set though, is that I would shrink or I would keep the chest probably the same size or maybe make it a little bit bigger and not make it so the walls fall out because that's just kind of like, that would be irritating to me. I don't, I don't really like that quite frankly. Um, or you should make the um, lid removable. I'm sure like there's some way to finagle it so you can take it off, but I, I would prefer to just have like the pirate treasure map or something like that that looks like this, and there would just be a big red X somewhere on there, and yeah, I think that that would be cool, but I I, I would not want the, I would not want it the way that it is. However, I do think Lego could make something similar to this, and I would probably buy that. Okay, Queen Elizabeth the second, and then we're gonna kind of do speed rounds after this. So this one, yes, one hundred percent. This. I can almost guarantee this will be made because this appeals to the entire British population of Lego fans, which is like, I don't know, probably 30%. Like, it's a massive proportion of them. Queen Elizabeth, I mean, we saw people like the Lego Brit last year even made like a Queen Elizabeth minifigure to honor her. This would be such a cool thing to honor the Queen. Um, and I just, it like, it would be cool. I, I just think it would be cool. So, and I, I also think that Lego would make this. It's like, also, it can be Lego icons with Queen Elizabeth II, and she's like the monarch of England. Like, that's really significant. Um, and also, it just looks really nice, quite frankly. So, yeah, I could see that being made for sure. Okay, mechanical flip calendar. Yes, I see Lego making this 100% as like an, uh, an idea. So, I mean, we got the typewriter. Why not this? Okay, next, the Italian Riviera. Um, I'm going to say no, at least not in this standing. Again, like, I feel like they can make a modified version of this, kind of similar to that, like, medieval marketplace that we saw a few years back but i don't not in this current standing it would be it would definitely be very different but i I, I, the idea i could see being made okay subnautica the aurora um i'm gonna say no not not the way this is not a ucs set of that because again it's it's too niche like like there are a lot of subnautica fans but i don't think that enough of the subnautica fandom overlaps with the lego fandom that this would be or or like enough that like care enough about subnautica that they would spend 500 dollars on a ship um Especially a broken one, which is like, like I get that that's like in the game, like it's broken. Like yes, I played Subnautica, but I I, I would not buy this shit broken. Um, and quite frankly, I don't like Subnautica enough to to do this. But yeah, I I, I just I don't I don't see this being made. Okay, um, Pink Palace Apartment from Coraline. Okay, another one of the exact same set. And again, I'm going to say no. Um, moving on, Galley of Warriors. Yes, I could see this being made. Um, 
that may be wishful thinking on my part because I really want this set. I love Vikings. I love Knights. I love all that medieval era stuff. So, yeah, um, I, I could see this being made. I, however, I would put it at like low likelihood. I, I just like it's above zero. Okay, next Simpsons, the Krusty Burger. <sighs> this is a tough one. Okay, we're taking a break from speed round really quick because I need to talk about this. It's, it's just going to be like, I don't know, 45 seconds. But this one would be amazing. And if Lego made this, it would sell so well, 100%. I would buy this set because I love the Simpsons. But they did this before, and then they ended it. And they ended it for, like, no reason, so I don't completely understand why. But, like, I, I because they ended it, I, I don't see why they would bring it back. It's kind of like Lord of the Rings. Um, which, you know, we got Rivendell, which I have. Very, so awesome, guys. So awesome. I'll do a review of it soon. Um, but it's like Rivendell in that, like, they could bring it back with this cool thing. But I just... This definitely wouldn't start a new theme. Just keep that in mind. But... It could be cool. I would love to see it. Let me see. Who's this minifigure? I don't know who that is, but it would be very cool. I would love to see it. Um, however, I, I, I'm putting it at low likelihood. Yeah, low likelihood. Okay. Working log flume. Yeah, I don't know. Do we have any... I don't think that we have any roller coaster sets out right now, so maybe, because this kind of fills that place. It would be cool. I would like this set. I would probably not buy it, though. That's that, like that's the only thing with some of these sets. It's like, they're cool, but like would you buy them? No. So they can, shouldn't make them. Ikea Store Modular. That is really funny. That is really funny. They would definitely have to... Oh, Modular. I see. I see. I was thinking Modular. Like, you buy a bunch and make a giant Ikea. Um, or, I mean, a normal-sized Ikea, of course. Um. Okay, I think that this would be more likely that for them to make than any of the other modulars we've seen. So, oh, actually, this is like second most likely after the burger thing. The burger thing is, is more likely than this for sure. Um, it's very cool. I'm just going to keep going, but I, I would put this at low likelihood. Um, the A-Team Double Trouble, Double Heat. Um, I recognize that guy. I don't know any of their names, though. Um, this one could be made. Because, you know, we saw those Fast and Furious sets. I'm guessing this is a similar thing to that. And this looks like it's, it would be a pretty small scale. So, yeah, I could see them making this for sure. Um, and then this is the last one. Okay, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Here we go again. Um, um, I'm going to say no. I, I think that even though, like, the new Wonka movie came out and everything, I still feel like this is not necessarily too niche. Because I feel like everyone's going to see it and go, oh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, you know? But I feel like... There's just, you can't really display it all in a set that's small enough that people would want to buy it, if that makes sense. Like, in order to really capture, like, the vision of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, like, the scale of the factory itself and, like, all everything super, like, unique about it, it would have to be really big. And, like, I don't know anyone who's going to drop a bunch of money, like, over $100, quite frankly, on a Charlie and the Chocolate Factory Lego set. I certainly would not, um, even for those Oompa Loompas. Oh, my gosh. Very funny. Great minifigures. Um, but sadly, no, I don't, I don't see this as being likely. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. But really, really quick before we go, I want to show you some of the highlights just really quick. Um, so Forest Space, that's probably my number two after Camelot, my number one. Um, and then my number three for set that I would want them to make is going to have to go to the... Um, sorry, <laughs> let me find it. The Phineas and Ferb. Very cool. I, I just think that this would be a great set. And I especially if they made the house like pretty small and it was just mostly just minifigures. And like oh, and if they maybe if they had a bunch of like the um inventions from the movie instead of and like minimize the house and maximize the invention. So if they had like the floating chamber and stuff, or like they had like a mini roller coaster, if they like had all those gadgets and stuff, I feel like that would be a super fun play set. Also the house just looks really nice, like the color scheme looks great. Um Okay, and then fourth, this is going to be, I'm just going to do a top four, I think. The City Burger. I think that this set looks great. This is one that I would pick up, quite frankly. Um, I don't think that it's a super high likelihood that they would make it, but I would love for them to make this, and I would love to pick it up. Twin Towers would also be very cool. Those are probably my top five. Um, yeah. Okay, and we're back at the top, so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.